Hey everyone, so Monday morning, um, I'm about to go on a, they called it a practical Pembroke tour. So basically the president of the Pembroke MCR is going to give a little tour of the college. Um, I have gone and looked around myself, but this will like kind of, yeah, all the hidden details. Not everything here in Oxford in general is super well marked. There's not signage for everything, so it'll just be good to know what's where, especially because on... I think it's Wednesday, is kind of the Pembroke orientation, so I'll be able to get my keys and everything. So to actually see where that's going to be held will be good. But yeah, gonna do that. It's a little drizzly this morning. It's just kind of like misting down, but it's still quite warm, so. It's kind of a, I don't know, maybe if you're from here you wouldn't like it, but I think it's quite nice. seen most of the grounds but didn't necessarily know like what it was primarily used for, um, where the MCR tends to hang out and what they do like after formals and everything and details about dining hall and all that which was good um, and saw where they're gonna do the orientation stuff for Wednesday. Um, yeah which is just very very practical information it was really good. Um, and then I also saw things like he also like did some notes about like the history of the building and everything so like we saw what they believe was Tolkien Tolkien's offices where he wrote Lord of the Rings and everything which was very cool um and then on my way back I stopped by you would have seen the Christ Church some of their gardens and everything which is very very pretty um a different style than some of the Pembroke uh landscaping so it's it's, yeah, interesting to see the differences. I didn't go super far in because, like, there was signs. It looked like it was just open to the public, but there were signs that, like, mentioned things about tickets and everything, and I, I didn't purchase anything, so I was, like, I didn't want to get scolded, so I just kind of looked around and then went back, and I stopped at Alice's shop. Um, again, I <clears throat> browsed in there, like, a couple days ago, kind of when I first arrived, and I went and got uh, just a little journal. My mom requested that I like just fill out a journal with like, oh today it was really rainy and everything. So on the sides, it, side it says, oh I've had such a curious dream. And then it's, yeah, Atlas going through and it's got some illustrations on the inside as well. Uh, yeah, which I wanted to keep a journal as well and my mom was like, that would be a really good idea. So I thought this would be a cute one. I do still need to get, I think, just some regular notebooks for class. I mostly take notes on my laptop, but it's always nice to have just a hard copy. I have like a little one um, that Rhodes gave us and everything so I can use that if I can't find it because everything that I found so far was kind of expensive um, so I'm not totally sure where to go but yeah I'll keep looking and yeah I think for the rest for part of the afternoon now anyway I'm just gonna be doing some work on my laptop I got my reading list for my courses so I'm gonna try to do some of that reading and I have so many emails to sort through and I also put a lot of laundry on. So today is just kind of like a catch up admin day. And then hopefully maybe do some more exploring again later this afternoon and evening. Um, MCR is doing pizza and Prosecco. That's kind of their first big event. So I met a couple of people at my college, but that'll be good to kind of see some more faces. <laughs> completed a load of laundry so that's like one task and one skill done um yeah last time I tried the one closest to my building wasn't operational yet because this is a new building so some kinks need to be worked out but the old laundry only had three machines and they were all in use last time I tried so today I got in free and clear did a load of laundry so that's done um and then yeah I did a, I got a fair amount of work done um yeah I don't have like 
a whole lot of work to do yet, but just readings, making sure that I've got my schedule sort of figured out. Um, and so many emails, because when you go to Oxford, you get like four different email addresses, and then, you know, between roads, Oxford, and college, and department, you're getting a lot of emails at all times. So it's just making sure that I'm getting like all of the essential information this week, but I think I've got it fairly organized. Um, and yeah, FaceTimed with my parents for the first time since I've been here, so that was really good. Kind of figured out how to do it on my laptop. First time I've done that. So yeah, um, tonight is the pizza and Prosecco with the college. Um, and then Rhodes is doing a master's in defill meat and mingle, like an ice cream social kind of thing. Um, and it starts an hour after the Pembroke pizza night. So I'm hoping to hit both. We'll see how like caught up I get at college. But if that's really busy, it's fine to miss the Rhodes thing because I've met, I think I've met most people so far um and I think it'll be good to you know see more meet more people at college before like groups really get established uh yeah so looking forward to that and I mean free pizza and Prosecco is always a good thing. <laughs> hey there so it's Tuesday um the day of my course induction however that's not until two today so it's not until later in the afternoon um but yeah again I've had a pretty chill morning um let my hair air dry before I go out anywhere. Um, but yeah, I've been, I nearly got my Pembroke Meals app sorted. I got the uh, invite code to register an account because basically, yeah, like signing up for meals and paying for meals, all of that is done on this app. So I got the invite code, but now it won't accept my phone number as a UK number, but it is a UK number. So I'm not really sure why it's not. I've emailed the catering team. Um, if they don't reply, I might just have to call or just show up and be like, can I can I please eat, please? Um, but yeah, I figured that out and I'm doing some reading for my, for my course reading list. Uh, it's kind of cool, some of the texts are from my, one of my professors at U of S who also went to Oxford here. He was a reference for me uh, for the application, but yeah, he's, obviously very involved in digital scholarship then, but yeah, it's like the second thing on the reading list was by him, which I thought was kind of cool. So yeah, working on that this morning. Um, then I'll probably, yeah, find where the induction is taking place. I don't think it's, I think it's like right around Pembroke. Um, find some lunch first, but yeah. So I'm all dressed and ready to go. I'm gonna go, yeah, try to find some lunch before my induction. And yeah, figure it out. Then I think I have some parcels to pick up at uh, the Pembroke Porter's Lodge. That's where we can deliver our mail to. Can't get it right to the building. But yeah, this is an anthropology dress that I may or may not have gotten here. So it's the start of my UK wardrobe. But yeah, I it's kind of got this velvet on it. Just love it. scientists but there's probably like 12 to 15 people in the course and the bulk of them actually also come from an English lit background then there's also some people that uh, were in history philosophy uh, political sciences that kind of thing I actually don't know if anyone was in STEM which is interesting um, but yeah it was great and I think a lot of people are coming at it with kind of the same level of experience in terms of the technical aspects like, I don't know if anyone has done a whole lot of coding or anything. So I think most people signed up for the optional Python course, uh, which I did as well. I don't need Python for any of the courses uh, that I signed up for, but I figured it's a good thing to know anyway. Um, so yeah, that will be, those aspects will definitely be a learning curve, but it will for everyone, which is just kind of nice that you don't feel like you're behind anyone else in the course necessarily. Um, I do have some experience with digital scholarship with these kinds of projects, um, as do other people on the course. But yeah, it's not like anyone 
had this, or I don't think anyway, had a super stacked resume compared to anyone else. Um, I don't know if I've talked about it. I volunteered on as a transcriber on the Canterbury Tales project uh, when I was at the University of Saskatchewan. So basically what I was doing is I was looking at uh, the manuscript documents, like the original documents for the Canterbury Tales, and then doing uh, digital transcriptions on the platform. Uh, so yeah, doing things like that, those are the kinds of projects that you might be able to work with or on or around on this course. And yeah, it sounds like it's going to be really interesting. We get to have, I think, weekly lectures from, you know, experts in their field to hear what the pro about the projects that they're doing. We're going to have our supervisor and then there's an optional um, career mentor. So again, someone who is, you know, working within uh, the field in perhaps maybe like our home discipline that can give just a good contact contact to have and someone else to, you know, give advice on the projects, speak to about the discipline. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. But afterwards, uh, me and three of the other girls went to a pub and had some food and drinks. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but allegedly it's the pub where Shakespeare would stop when he was going through Oxford, because of course it was, which is so fun. Um, but yeah, then I stopped at college because I had some Amazon parcels because I just ordered like, some other chargers, like a toothbrush charger, phone charger, phone tablet charger. Um, yeah, so, but one of them is like comically large. Hold on. It's like up to my waist. And I think the actual thing is maybe about this long. So we're gonna open it and see. Yeah, because this is the one with the most interesting box, the most stupid box, it's the one that I am most interested in opening. Okay, yep. Yeah, so I ordered an umbrella. Um, I wanted like a clear birdcage umbrella because my logic was that a birdcage one is less likely to get like taken away in the wind. And if it's clear, I will be able to see where I'm going, which is ideal. I'd like to open it to see, but like I'm a little superstitious. I don't want to open it inside. We're just gonna risk it. Okay. Yeah, that'll be perfect. No, I'm really happy with that. Yeah, and it doesn't it doesn't feel too flimsy. Maybe like a little bit, but it'll be fine. When we got here, Rhodes did give us umbrellas, but they have um I did use it once and it did get like taken away by the wind. It got turned inside out. Um, which is not ideal, but it also, it's not like too gaudy or anything, but it does have Rhodes Trust written on it, which isn't a bad thing, but it's not super conspicuous. So yeah, I was like, I'll keep that one as a backup and then maybe use this one more, hopefully. So, oh, none of the chargers are here, but I'd ordered a hairdryer because the hairdryer that I had at home, it wasn't like anything special. I think it was just a Revlon one but it was on its last legs. Like it barely blew any air anymore. So I was like, I'm not gonna bother bringing it and then trying to use an adapter. I'll just buy one when I'm here. But I went into Boots and they were all like 45 pounds and this was about 14 pounds on Amazon and it literally came a day later. But other than using like my heatless roller, I basically only use a hair dryer to style my hair. Um, I just, yeah, especially my bangs. So my bangs have been looking just slightly off the entire time I've been here. So I'm very happy to have this. And then I also got um, like a hand wash laundry detergent because I have a few things that I just like prefer to hand wash. So yeah, that's great. Um, tonight my MCR is doing a pub quiz at the Oxford retreat. Um, it's supposed to be for your, like your MCR family. So what they'll do is they'll assign you like two parents within the MCR. So it's just an older year graduate student and they're kind of like your, point of contact in the college, but neither of my parents could make it. So I think they're just like throwing us in random groups. But yeah, it should be fun. I did a, pu I did a pub style quiz with Rhodes and I was only helpful for the music and pop culture sections. But even then a lot of it was very like UK based. Um, so the more popular, like Fleabag, I knew Fleabag. Um, I know who Martin Freeman is, that kind of thing. But the more like niche, 
uh, UK shows might struggle with. But yeah, I'm not sure what the categories or themes are for this one, but we'll see. So I'm back from the Oxford retreat. My team did not technically do that well on the quiz. I was basically useless. My big contribution was knowing that Taylor Swift is dating Travis Kelsey. And I, that was enough. It was fine. Um, yeah, there was some good categories though. They were fun. It was like Disney songs, but in other languages. So you had to guess the song and the language. I did okay on the song portion. Useless on languages. Um, but yeah, it was nice to meet some more people in the college and everything, um, and learn a little bit more about Pembroke. Uh, yeah, tomorrow we have our kind of like a college orientation almost, and we're going to get our BOD cards, which is like our university card, and will get us access to all the Bodleian libraries, I assume, or some of them. So yeah, have that tomorrow, and me and a friend are gonna go and try to get our subfusk, which is our academic dress. So for postgrads, it's a black gown, I think it's sleeveless, um, and then you have to wear like a white shirt, black bottoms, and there's a little like ribbon tie, and some kind of hat. There's a soft hat and a hard hat, which is like a mortar board, I think is how you say it. But yeah, just a board. I've heard that if you get the soft one, they make you wear it at matriculation and graduation, but if you get a board, they'll let you hold it. So that's probably what I'll go for. But yeah, I think for the rest of the night, I'm just gonna kind of chill out. It's not super late, but yeah, I just didn't really feel like staying at the pub, so it's 10, yeah. Probably do some reading, hopefully, and then yeah, figure it out. But good morning, it is Wednesday, We've got some, College, I don't know if you'd call it orientation. I feel like it's kind of an orientation. We're getting our general university cards, called the BOD cards, getting those today. Um, I think that it's, they're calling it like welcome tea and cakes. So probably some snack stuff out there, like breakfast kind of spread, I don't know. Um, and then yeah, probably tell us a little more info about the college, maybe talk about, you know, catering, formal hall, informal hall. Just general college info, I think. I don't really know what to expect. Um, have that for a couple hours, and then hopefully finding my subfusk this afternoon. Um, and then, yeah, I've got, in the evening, my college MCR is doing board games, uh, but Rhodes is doing a travel workshop. So I think I'm probably gonna go to the travel workshop. That's what I signed up for. I think it's uh, mostly talking about like traveling on your stipend and managing your budget for that. Maybe there'll be like some travel wrecks or something. I don't know. I know Rhodes does a few trips throughout the year. Like they do a Patagonia trip, for example, um, which you have to like apply for and sign up. I'm not really sure what the application process is like. Maybe they'll talk a bit about that there. Um, so obviously then not every Rhodes scholar that applies can go. Um, but yeah, hopefully get a little bit more information about that. Maybe have some time to explore. Oxford more a little bit again today, but yeah. in if I was in a building that was going to be uh, cleaned by the scouts, who's the staff uh, here at the residence in the college, but clearly now. Um, so yeah, I'm in a room that does, I think it's once a week. Um, one of the scouts comes in and cleans. It's, yeah, they like empty the garbages, vacuum the floor and everything, which I just thought I would share because it's such an interesting thing from coming from a Canadian school. It seems so strange to have someone coming into here that they would have staff come into your residence and do that. It's very nice. I've met uh, the woman who seems to be the one assigned to this floor. I'm not sure if they're gonna like switch at some point, but she's usually the one that I see around in the halls in the morning. Very nice. But yeah, it's a very cool thing that feels very Oxford. I don't know. 
But yeah, just got back to that, so my room has been vacuumed and judged, and it looks very nice. Got all the stupid fuzz from my throw off the floor. Um, but yeah, I got my sub fusk um, at, I think it's called Eden Ravenscroft. Is that how you pronounce it? Very fancy bag. It looked like a fancy menswear store, but then they sell the academic dress, which I think they make a killing on because it was about 45 pounds. And it's, yeah, just a robe and a funny little hat. I'll show it to you. I have to wear the robe for the formal dinner that my college is having tomorrow, which I'm very excited about. But yeah, I don't have to wear like the full white shirt, black bottoms, tie, hat, and everything tomorrow. Just whatever formal dress you want and then the robe over top for the dinner. So I'll show it to you then because he folded it very nicely and I don't want to wreck it. Um, then I also got my last Amazon package from that order, which should just be chargers. So just practical additions. Um, and I, yeah, me and my friend went and got this uh, academic dress and then we went for coffee at a nice spot in the covered market. It was great. Yeah, phone charger, toothbrush charger. So I'm all set. But yeah, I don't really have anything until um, early this evening now. So maybe do some work on my reading list. Uh, keep plugging away at that. Maybe we'll see what time it gets to be. Um, maybe go see, walk around Oxford a little bit, go see something. Um, yeah, so last night I didn't check in or anything because I just like when I got back to my room I just jumped in the shower and then I was working on like updating it was sort of a resume but just kind of yeah I guess resume CV with just like a couple added sections because um, so because I finished my English honors degree in June it's when I wrapped up all my electives I um, am technically going with the, I'm with the November convocation at University of Saskatchewan. Um, obviously I will not be there for the actual convocation, but I got an email that I was up for one of the awards uh, and they, yeah, needed like an updated resume thing of just, yeah, what like I volunteered on, work experience, future goals, basic personal details, that kind of stuff. Um, so I did that last night and sent it in and then just like so it was a pretty chill evening but yeah I went to the Rhodes travel workshop which was just basically like giving advice about traveling on stipend um and then on the way back I stopped by my college was doing like welfare teen cakes most of the cakes were gone I had some chocolate when I was there um yeah, hung out with some people from college, and then when it was done, a bunch of us uh, were like, well, let's just go wander somewhere. So we just went across the street and wandered through Christchurch, which will be the clips that you saw. Very cool, very Harry Potter, and it was, I feel like it was the perfect time of day to go to because it was early evening, so it was just like getting dark and the way that it was all lit up was so cool. I'm pretty sure those stairs, it was, it's in Harry Potter. I think it's maybe when they, like in the first movie, when they line them up before they get sorted, but I'm not positive. I feel like I need to rewatch them again now that I'm here. Uh, but yeah, that was really awesome. Today I'm going to the uh, student, is it just like the student society fair? Basically it's held in the examination schools, which are these beautiful buildings where people write exams. I don't have any exams for my course. 
thankfully, because it sounds very stressful. Um, but yeah, so like, when you write your exams, especially as an undergrad, I think, I there may be like a little less strict about that um, for postgrad studies. Like I think I've heard of a lot of people that had exams, maybe did them online or they didn't have to go all out. But for some exams and for undergrad, you'll have to wear your full academic dress when you go to sit them. You have to go to this one, go to these buildings to do it. It's a whole thing. But that's where the fair is. You're just gonna be boost for all of the clubs and societies and everything. Um, I kind of tried to read about what was available, but there's kind of so much, and I don't even think like the list that I found was all of them. And you can only get so much from just like a couple sentence blurb, so it'll be nice to see kind of what's available, what's on offer. Um, I don't want to like overcommit to too much before I know what my workload is like with my course and everything. And also like you want to have free time to explore and travel and everything else too, but it'd be nice to join something. I'm going to meet up with yet yeah, one of the other Canadian scholars and we're going to go together because our college is at the same time. Um, but yeah, it should be, should be interesting. And then tonight is my first formal dinner at college, which is very exciting. Um, there's like drinks, a drinks reception to start then dinner, and then second dessert, which is basically, I think second dessert is like organized by the MCR. So they'll have like chocolate, cheese, and port, which I've never tried. Um, in the MCR rooms, apparently that part is a lot of people's favorites. Hoping that my hair will hold up in these curls. Usually they hold up like fairly well, but if all else fails, I can just chuck it up in a bun. So it'll be fine either way. But yeah, that's the plan for today. So this is my outfit for today. Um, yeah, I like these tights. However, they're more of a struggle to get on because obviously the sock part or like the top has to hit at the same part or else they look weird. Um, I'm early, but I think I'm going to go try to go find something for breakfast. But yeah, mentally prepare myself for this scholar fair. So I just got back from the Freshers' Fair, um, signed up for a lot of mailing lists that I'm probably going to unsubscribe from very soon, but yeah, there's a lot of really cool clubs. Um, like there was salsa dancing, there's a Taylor Swift club, and I think they do basically like bar nights, parties, that kind of thing. Um, I think they said something about a ball, so I don't know if it's like joining with another ball or if they like host their own, which would be very cool. Um, yeah, there was like a Tolkien Society, there was a Harry Potter club, um, a bunch of different sports clubs, an equestrian club. They also had, is it pentathlon? Is that what it's called? Where you ride, swim, run, and shoot. And I feel like usually you shoot off of the horse, but it looked like in the photos like they were standing, so maybe that's more advanced. But yeah, I won, got a bunch of free stuff, got like so many pens, never gonna have to buy a pen here again. Um, I won a free pizza from Domino's. And then also the best part, Harper Collins had a little table. So if you signed up for their one of their mailing lists, you got to spin the wheel and you either got little or large. And if you hit little, they gave you, it was just a flyer. I don't know if it had a coupon on it or something because I hit large, so I got a free book. And they had a whole bunch on the table, like they had Babel, they had a few romance novels that I'd heard of but just like hadn't been interested in. So I picked Yellow Face by R.F. Kuang. Um, free hardback book. Insane. So I'm really excited about that. That was definitely the highlight. But yeah, some really cool things. There was one group, it was just two guys wearing these like robes and they just said wear cult. Like they had pictures up there that were like, um, ritual sacrifices, meals, that kind of thing. Um, did not explain what it was at all. So I was like, I'm signing up for this mailing list. Why not? I put my email down, so we'll see what it is. It's the one I'm most curious about because me and the, my friend that I went with were just like, what is this? This has to be something good. So we both signed up for it. Yeah, that's the email I'm most excited to receive. But I said it would be funny if they just like never sent anything out. 
if they were just these two guys who just got a table at the uh, student union fair and were just trolling, but we'll see. Yeah, so now I'm back in my room. I have my uh, induction online thing at 2.30, um, and then the Rhodes consent thing at 1, which is in an hour, and I think it's on Zoom too, or you can join via Zoom. So I might just do that and then duck out early to do my uh, induction stuff. I think the induction, it's very short. So in the meantime, I'm going to maybe keep looking through my reading list. I feel like I haven't, I need to just like sit down and do it. I've been plugging away at it quite slowly. Um, in my course, every week there's readings and there you can opt, it's an option. You don't have to do it, but you can write up like a little 200 to 500 word thing um, and submit it and, you know, engage with the other people who posted. Um, if you submit enough, you'll maybe get feedback from one of the uh, instructors. So I definitely want to do those throughout the term. I just don't know if I'm going to do it for the first week. I guess we'll see how uh, I'm feeling this weekend. Like if I've gotten through all of the readings and I feel like I have time and like I have something to say about one of them, because I think it would be good, uh, especially just to like get in the practice of writing again and writing about these kinds of topics. So we'll see, hopefully get some of that done. Out yeah. to the first formal dinner. So this is what I decided to wear. It's very, I don't know if the robe goes, but you know, it's gonna tie the whole thing together. Just got back from formal. It was very cool. The evening started off very austere and did not end that way. Um, yeah, I was actually seated at the high table, which is, so most of the tables will run like this way and the high table goes this way and it's at the front of the room on a bit of a step. The master of the college sits there, which I think like the North American equivalent would just be like the dean of a college. Um, he's the master of Pembroke. He has a dog named Juno that I haven't seen yet, but apparently will be around the campus. Um, and yeah, it was really cool. They give like prayers in Latin. It's a three course meal served. Um, at this one, they served you two glasses of wine. They served a white wine with the, yeah, with the first course, then red wine with the main. It was like a cod wrapped in, is it pancetta? Is that what it's called? I don't know. It's like bacon wrapped cod basically was what it was on a risotto. Really good. Um, yeah, I haven't ever eaten anything like that before actually, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. The food was great. Had a little like salted caramel kind of creme brulee thing for dessert. Uh, then later in the evening, uh, they have second dessert, which is in the MCR room, so it's mostly students, although I think some of the uh, faculty came by earlier, uh, where you have like port desserts, or not desserts, but like chocolate, cheeses, that all that good stuff. And then on the way back, someone had had this huge box shipped to them, but it was shipped to college, so we had to carry it back, so it was this big group of people carrying this box, which is about like just under 15 minutes from accommodation to the college site. So they were carrying it back in like full evening dress, academic gowns. Um, I was not carrying. I feel, felt like my strengths were best suited to providing moral support. So yeah, varying degrees of fanciness for the evening, but it was a really cool experience. The hall is beautiful. Um, I've heard that the other formal dinners are not quite that fancy. Like, I don't think they do all the wine at all the other formal dinners. But yeah, very cool experience. Um. So it's currently um, Saturday. I didn't really show anything from Friday just because we didn't really do anything that exciting or that different. Um, I had, I went to Rhodes house because Rhodes was doing a uh, personal finance workshop. So just advice about budgeting on the stipend and you know, how different people's Rhodes experience and experience with the stipend and relationship to the stipend is different. Um, really informative. I thought it was good. Some good tips for budgeting and uh, banking here as well. Where my college had their first bop, um, it was pee themed. So I just wore pajamas, like purple plaid pajamas with a sleeping mask. 
Um, I thought that it was going to be like my last minute throw together costume and I was going to be like way underdressed compared to everyone. But most people just like had more <laughs> subtle costumes. So that's good to know for the other ones, I guess. Although I tend to like to go hard on a costume party. So we'll see. I think the next one is like Alien Superstar or something like that. So a lot of metallic, I imagine. Um, but yeah. It was not good, but today is Saturday, and yeah, I don't really have anything until later this afternoon where I'm going to be rowing for the first time. The college is having, I forget what they called it, but it's basically just like little try, like little sessions for new people to try rowing. So, because a lot of people show up and have no experience, but rowing is a big thing to do at, at Oxford. So, I'm gonna do it so I can say I tried it. Um, I don't suspect I will be recruited for the rowing team. I'm somewhat nervous because when I was in high school, my uh, school did canoe trips and I did dump both myself and my partners into the lake on separate occasions. <laughs> so hopefully that doesn't happen today. But yeah, I'll be doing that later this afternoon and then college is having a movie night. So I might go join that. Um, other than that, I'm just kinda on my own. So I might do a little exploring, we'll see. sausage roll which is something that I was probably like disproportionately excited to try when I moved here um it was good it's literally just sausage and puff pastry so I feel like it's pretty hard to mess up but I enjoyed it um and then you'll see in the the little clips I went to this store called uh scriptum which is like this beautiful stationery store they sell a lot of uh leather bound journals like postcards, um, fancy pe fountain pens and ink. Um, then they also have like some decor and I think I saw like soaps in there and stuff. Uh, would be a great place for gifts. Um, I didn't buy anything, it's very expensive. I was like, I'm not gonna buy myself fancy journal from there right now, um, but perhaps in the future. Um, yeah, it's really cool. And then um, I was going to go to, try to go to, uh, it's down, I think it's called St. Mary's Past or St. Mary's Passage. There's this door that is, I guess, the inspiration for uh, the wardrobe and the lion, the witch in the wardrobe. I think there's a lion, maybe like a goat's head or something coming out of it. I'm not totally sure because I haven't seen it. Um, but yeah, because C.S. Lewis, went to school here. He was at Maudlin College. He was in the Inklings with uh, Tolkien. And yeah, I was gonna go see that, but it's a Saturday and the city's so busy and there's a lot of tourists and I imagine there would be a lot of people there. And I was like, I'm just not gonna try to fight through the crowds. I'll maybe go during a weekday when it would be slightly less crowded. Um, seems like a better plan. But yeah, I also walked around Blackwells again. I saw Throne of the Fallen by Carrie Maniscalco, if that's how you pronounce her last name. Um, it's beefy. Like, it is a lot bigger than I thought, bigger than all of the Kingdom of the Wicked books. Um, and I didn't realize it was a standalone. I thought that it was the start of a new duology or trilogy, maybe. But yeah, it's just one book, which I'm actually more excited for it then, because I feel like I just haven't been vibing with series for the last, for quite a while now. So the fact that it's a standalone makes me even more excited to read it. However, I'm going to read the ones that I have first before I buy anything new. Um, and then I also saw Sword Catcher by Cassandra Clare. And they had the, it was in Blackwells, but they had the Waterstones exclusive edition, which I don't know if it has bonus content or anything. I didn't see that on the cover. I didn't see anything when I was like flipping through it. But uh, the edges are sprayed black. So that's cool. If you can get the fancier edition, why not? Um, yeah. So did that. Um, now I think I'm just gonna read and chill out before attempting to row. Maybe I'll secretly be a pro. We'll see. Okay, now, and rowing yesterday was actually a big success. I did not dump myself or anyone else into the water, so I'm basically a pro. Um, yeah, it was really fun. I'm not sure what the schedule is like, but I could potentially see myself doing that. Um, like a, in the more chill groups, could be fun to do. Rowing's just kind of the thing to do at Oxford. Like most people start having never done it before. Um, 
and then some people get really into it. But yeah, it was really fun. Um, today I think I'm going to go to like a little bakery cafe with some people from my college. Um, and then yeah, see what I get up to. Hopefully do some reading. Um, first day of classes is tomorrow, so kind of go over stuff for that. Should be good. Um, yeah, I don't really know what's going on this afternoon. Um, my college is having like a sports meet and mingle kind of thing, but I doubt I will be joining that. Um, I might, maybe I would go and watch, but I don't think I'm going to go and play because it's like football or soccer and stuff, but yeah. afternoon and I've just been having a really nice day so far like um went to the uh little bakery coffee shop had a really fancy hot chocolate and um this pistachio donut thing so it's definitely like pricey but it was very good um and then I went to the Pembroke library and did some work to get ready for class tomorrow um yeah it's not like you'll see from the clips it's a good library, it's just not like a fancy historic one, so if you want more atmospheric studying, I think I'll definitely be checking out some of the Bodleian libraries, but for just like my library that's close and everything, it's a nice space, lots of seating and everything, which is good. And then I went up to the MCR and read a bit for fun, um, and then I went and found a bottle of wine at the covered market for um, Canadian Thanksgiving this evening, so yeah. Probably just hang out a little bit until then, see what I get up to. So we just got back from Canadian Thanksgiving. It was so great. Um, one of the upper year Canadian Road Scholars kind of hosted it at his college, just in one of the common rooms. And he did the majority of the cooking, like he did the turkey, he did all the kind of mains. He made five pumpkin pies, which like hats off to him. It was so good and like cooking for that amount of people, I cannot imagine, it would have been so stressful. But it was really great. I feel like, I've only been here two weeks, but it feels like I haven't seen a lot of the other Canadian scholars from my year in so long. So it was really nice to catch up and see everybody all together again. We made some plans for next week, so that should be good. And um, yeah, some of the, the clip that I showed earlier, I was waiting to meet up with another girl and we walked over together. That's just this little um, kind of church, kind of on the main street. Um, that yeah, obviously has some graves out front then. It's really pretty. Um, I could hear people singing all day. I think a choir was practicing, which was really, really cool. Um, I don't know if they're the ones that ring the bells during the day or if it's Christchurch, but somewhere in that same area rings bells every hourly, um, which I, th I don't know if that's like such a novelty if you're from here, but yeah, I definitely don't hear that in Canada very often, so it's really cool. But yeah, I think I'm going to end it here for tonight, um, and I'll see you guys next week for the first week, full week of classes. Mm -hmm.